Welcome, denizens of the warp, to this corrupted edition of 40k in 30 minutes. A tight head struggle between the forces of the corpse emperor of humanity and the mighty powers of our dark lords and masters. Corruption has entered our studios for this edition, the Chaos Knights. My name is Gary Sacco, and uh, I'm running a pure Imperial Knights Army, House Tyrannus. I feel like it's a little bit of a mirror match. I the Rampager and the Desecrator. They're mirrored against the, one, the units I have, so my Gallant Warden and uh, Castellan. Gary brings a mighty Castellan as well as a Gallant and a Warden, supported by two Helverins and an Armager. Uh, I'm Taiko Umaga. I'm here playing Chaos Knights today. I'm sadly a fairly new Chaos player. It was my first army back in, I believe it was 1994, but uh, it's been a long time since I've dove back into the realm of Chaos. It feels like home. I, 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 I'm a creature of Chaos. Like, I, I, I thrive on mess. He brings a triumvirate of renegade lords discordant as well as a Knight Rampager, a Desecrator, and leading his forces of infernal destruction is an almighty Knight Tyrant, purpose built for this battle report by the Pion team. Today, as is fitting, we present No Mercy, a simple mission with one goal, kill the enemy. A victory point in the Great Tome of Enumeration shall be scored for each enemy slain, as well as First Blood, Slaying of the Warlord, and the Linebreaker. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the Chaos Knights hold up against uh, the regular Knights, see what like the different stratagems and abilities and relics, how they differ and how they affect the game. This looks to be an awesome matchup. A fairly mirrored match, but uh, we both know what we're doing. It's going to be a, uh, a quick, brutal affair of giant robots smashing each other in the face. I pick this side. I take this side, okay. by default. Okay, so the first unit I'm going to deploy is my Knight Gallant. He seems real gallant. Gallant has to go in, has to get up there, do some damage, and then blow him up and do more damage. Um, I'm going to respond with a Disco Lord. I'm going to put him just slightly back. The next unit down will be my Knight Warden. <laughs> Reach over. There we go. So my Knight Warden is down. Warden. The Endless Fury Relic, so it's going to be 14 shots. Okay. And six is get an extra hit. Fantastic. My Knight Castellan will hold the line. Do we have objective markers? No, we don't. No, this is just straight up kill just each kill other. Kill each other, good. Like, whoever kills more Knights wins. Uh, some more disco action over here. It appears that Gary has thrown the Gallant forward in deployment. That's not a bad move, however, those Lords Discordant could be an issue for him. They're really good, especially against vehicles. Halvern's down there. Well, the Rampager's gonna go in front and uh, invite some Rampaging. Let make the Disco Lords just slightly more enticing for you to try to charge up. Tycho has deployed fairly conservatively. This is not what the Dark Gods are demanding. Charge me! Burn, kill, death to the false emperor! <laughs> Excuse me, folks, uh, the blessings of corn were upon me for a moment Next there. unit will be my other Helverin. Shooty, shooty, shooty on the back line. Nice and they safe can back see there. The whole, like, they, yeah, there's 60 inch range, they're just gonna shoot across the board. He's got that bad touch uh, relic laser cannon. It looks like it's uh, got a beat on a Castellan. Hey, uh, my final unit will be my armor gear, my ace in the hole. The ace in the hole, the melted man himself. The tyrant! Shooing his brethren forward. I get the magic plus one to this dice roll. Seven! I can't beat that! Uh, would you like to seize the initiative? I certainly would. Seize the initiative. Don't do it! Don't do it! 
for the Dark Gods! The Dark Gods! Oh, yes. Come on, Dark Gods! Yes. <laughs> but the madness begin. Turn what? So dead. So my gallant's going to advance. This guy. Two. I'm gonna command point reroll that. So one command point gun. I need more range. Five, I'll take the five. So 17, 19 inches. Going first feels good. Hopefully my plan goes, you know, according. Gallant goes up there, does his thing. I'm able to shoot the Gastelin and the Warden and the Helverins and do more damage. But my armory will move up. He'll just mosey on his 14. Actually, he'll move up 12. The almighty 12. Here they come. Gary's going force, and I am I'm worried. Like this is this is a bad scene. Uh, when there's a volcano cannon on the map, and I'm fielding a lot of vehicles, in fact, six vehicles, um, I'm in trouble. We got some range. Castellan's got some range. He'll just stay put. Uh, we're gonna go to the shooting phase. So we're gonna start with my armor group to pump everything into this guy. So I get D3 shots for his Melta for two. Uh, so hitting on threes because it's an assault weapon. He doesn't hit. Says no. The mighty heavy stubber <coughs> also doesn't hit. I, mean, I hate these days. Mike Castellan's okay. gonna shoot everything at big boy there. Mike Castellan? Okay. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Oh no, that's a mistake. Unusual for Gary. He's mismeasured the Castellan range. So I messed that one up. The Castellan, I did not pay attention to like I normally do with pre-measuring distances. Normally I'm pretty good at that, but I was like, ah, it'll be cool to just sit him in between these towers. This looks good. So I just kind of stuffed him. <laughs> He's gonna shoot his volcano cannon at him, okay. and then everything else is gonna go into him. Rampager will rotate his ion shields. And I will overcharge his plasma as well. So let's go with the volcano cannon. How many shots? Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> spend another command <laughs> point. I need more shots. Three is better than, <laughs> than one. Than two and one, yeah. So hit on threes. Ooh, they all hit. Yeah, yeah. I'm winning on threes, but I get to reroll because you're Titanic. Doesn't matter. So three saves at negative a million. Negative a million. Luckily, I have the ve the, the veil of Mordrin something. Four up and vulnerable Four save. Four up and vulnerable save is what it is. So one gets through. I'm gonna command reroll. Gonna go for it. Takes zero damage. Still in tyrant duel. You're talking about some big guns going off, and um, if you get crippled early that might mean the game. The Volcano Cannon, it does 3d3 damage. So if those three would have went through, like I was hoping they would have, or even two, could have half killed them at least. But it did absolutely no damage. Big fat zero. So all my other shots into your version of the Evil Gallant. We'll do the cannons first, the auto cannons. Uh, 43 shots, seven. Wounding on fives. Ooh, that's pretty Ooh. good. Four, Neg Four. only negative ones. These will be D3. Oh, no. oh, there it is. Three apiece. There it is. D3 damage. Three, four, five, six. So now my plasma. How many shots does the plasma get? Six. Hitting on threes. Uh, ones, I'll take a mortal wound after he's done shooting. So he Ooh. eats two mortal wounds. And then I would you on fours because it pumps it up to strength. Uh, one. one. One negative, a whole bunch. Ah, goes through. Two damage. Uh, now to the shield breaker missile. Hit him with the shield breaker. I need to wound you on a three. Does it? That's a wound. D6 damage. For four. He's taking 12 wounds. Definitely, I'm a, um, a little worried. Ooh, killing him round one could be good. You know what, the Halverin's at him. I think I need to dedicate to try to kill him. Three, four, five, six, seven. Man, they are. Uh... Oh, poop in the bed. They'll edit it. Uh, <laughs> one wound, negative one. These are straight three. Three more damage. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it again with the other Halverin shooting at the evil Gallant. Six, even less shots. Hits just about the same. Two wounds, negative one. Full save. So he shoot all of his guns, so Venger Cannon, Stubber, and the Iron Storm pot at him. Of 14 shots, uh, sixes generate an additional automatic hit. Those are fails, but the six is an extra. We did on fives. Three, negative two, two damage apiece. That'll be one through. So two damage. So the mighty heavy stubber, nothing. D6 shots from the Iron Storm, six. Six shots. Uh, 
Four hits. hits. And fives, fives again. Uh, one wound, negative one. one, but two damage. It's okay. It's whatever, it happens every day. So then, it's gonna be a 10, it's gonna be a nine. So I'm gonna declare Disco Lord and the and your the evil Gallant. Spend two, two points for full tilt. All right, I need a minimum of nine. Make that charge! Ooh! Okay, well, because I might as well just go for it. I'm gonna spend one more command point. I'm gonna reroll that one. It's gonna give me a six. Give me the six. <coughs> Stupid craters. Ooh. Well, this sucks. Wow, that leaves Gary without a kill, only two command points remaining, and no points in the first turn. That is highly unexpected. Knights are a huge alpha strike army, and you would think that he'd be able at least to knock something out on the first turn. This terrible situation of eating a charge from a gallant knight after getting blown to pieces by a volcano cannon hasn't come to pass. That was um, way less terrifying than I was expecting. And so, I'm almost out of command points. All right, so nine inches forward with him because he's rampaging. Tycho's turn one, and he's in a really great position here. Those Lord Discordants can make short work of that gallant. He'll advance. Three. But he's still in the crater. I don't like it. He should be able to press forward here and charge me for two. <laughs> and uh, get good shots off on pretty much wherever he wants to. Who let the blood letter in the studio? This guy's gonna get out of the way. Tycho was a long devotee of the Dark Disciplines, coming from a fantasy background in Aeon's past before the sundering of the realms. And now I'm moving on to shooting phase. So, I've got two auto cannons. They also, don't they do something against uh, vehicles? They do, uh, you're minus one to hit. This guy? Yeah. He didn't do anything to you though. He didn't do anything. He literally didn't do anything. So the discos are upset with melt -a gun guy. Okay, so, yeah. Four hits. All right. Wounding on fours. That's two wounds, two minus wounds. one. Uh, turns into a four up save. He Ooh. loves it. Uh, moving back to the uh, desecrator. He's gonna start with the heavy stubber again at your armager. A laser cannon at him. So, Have at her. the stubber. It's all lies. Uh, nothing. The diamondas. Angry laser gun, three shots. Hit on threes. Hit on threes, one miss, two hits. I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, this is uh, wounding on strength twos. 16, wounding on twos. <laughs> That's two wounds, uh, minus four. The six does D3 mortal wounds on top of it. Two more. Four Ah, uh, okay. See what happens. It does, a D6 wounds. Four. four. Because I'm house Tyrannus, I ignore damage on sixes, which I don't roll in. He is now down to 20. I'm going to spend two command points for a trail of destruction. This will allow him to reroll all misses. His Vow of the Beast Slayer, but that will allow him to reroll ones to wound against any model with eight wounds or more. Everything in range is going into the Castellan. It's the melt guns just in range. So I'm gonna spend one CP and activate Ion Shields on the Gallant. Four melt shots, rerolling all my misses. That's three hits. We got fours. Four. Three rolling one. Twos and threes. Twos and threes. Oh, there's a one. There's a one. Oh, oh, all right. Let's see if that one's going to be paid off. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Zing. That's all that matters. He's all good. Volcano cannon. The angry gun. Four, four shots. shots. Threes. Three rolling with two. Threes re rolling. Two. That's two wounds. All right, uh, four been vulnerable. I'm gonna use my last command point. Give me a save. No. no. So 63 six damage. Uh. The volcano. Nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, House Tyrannus, ignore some damage for me. <laughs> six is. Oh, nice. oh, there it is, ignoring four. So it goes down to 12. Plasma decimator. 2D Heavy 2D6. That's not a ton of shots. I really want to do some damage. I will spend a command point. Oh, there we go, 10 shots. That trail of destruction strategy for only two command points is absolutely fantastic. Lots and lots of nine hits. hits. Rerolling the one for the vow. All right, I need to make some saves here. Four up invulnerables. 
Ooh, oh, nice. there it is. Sixes, I'll ignore some more damage. Two more sixes. He's down to 10. Are you rolling? Uh, I'm wounding on fives. Yeah. Three wounds. Three wounds, no Minus ones. one, I believe. Okay, so four up. Uh, two go through, so 2d3 damage. For uh, five one damage. five. Come on, man. You can, you can live. How cruel of House Tyrannus to deny the wounds inflicted with a six up field of pain roll. Chaos will have you. They will embrace your machine spirit. Seriously, where is all these guys coming from? Hits on a three. And wounds on a wounds straight on ten. A three. Four. Ignore some damage. Nope, he's down to two. So let's start with uh, the Far Disco Lord yeah. over here. So we'll shoot a stubber at him first, which does absolutely he is nothing. Not stubbed. Rockets from heaven hit twice. Ooh. Strengths or stuff to six. What do you got? Fives. Oh, Absolutely no. nothing. Says no. Uh, the charge. Two ones. Very successful. Oh. On a six. Oh, the Lord Discordants are charging everything in sight. Oh, he's in. He's in. Oh, give it a go. This Galore's gonna try and charge over here. See, he's going for big boy. And the Warden unleashes its relic cannon, Endless Fury. Oh my! 14 shots, not a single six. Man, oh man, when the Dark Gods curse your dice, they do it well. It auto hits. Heavy Flamer. Uh, two wounds at negative one. Uh, so three up for my armor. What was it? Uh, the charge. That'll do it. Six inches makes it. Let's start with the Rampager. So because he's Iconoclast, he gets an extra attack on the charge. Six attack. Natural sixes, he'll score an additional hit. So that is, be rolling the one and the two. So that's nine hits. Nine hits. Nine hits from the Rampager, four wounds at six damage each. Six that House Tyrannus six plus is really saving Gary's Imperial Bacon here. The Gallant has five wounds remaining. Down to five wounds. Down to five wounds. House Tyrannus. So starting with this close guy here, I'm hitting you on twos. Two, neither of which wound. Yay, Mecha Tendrils. <laughs> it does a wound. Uh, Techno Virus Injector hits. That wounds. Uh, so what's the damage? Uh, D3. All right. That's three, I four need a six. with the mortal. So I've already factored in the mortal. Okay. I need one six. I need a six. You need to blow up. Explode! Okay. No. Disco, Disco, Lord Discordant, Disco Stew has blown up you! Uh, his chain glaive. It's okay. I can come back. I can come back from this. The Warden and the Lord Discordant looks like they've traded a few wounds back and forth, so we come to the end of the first turn. Uh, Tycho has scored first blood as well as a kill, giving us a score of two to zero in his favor. Gary's out of command points, and Tycho only has two remaining. Here we go. So he goes 6.5 inches away. Yeah, pretty much. Got it. Wisely, Gary is moving out of the range of that Lord Discordant scrap code aura. Uh, that minus one to hit for enemy vehicles within six inches is absolutely amazing, especially against an army full of vehicles. That, so just outside of six. Scooch these guys just a little bit. Gary's Castellan is at two wounds, his Warden is taken two, and Tycho's Rampager is down to seven wounds remaining. Shooting phase, all right. I need a real good shooting phase. The help, the armager is gonna shoot the, that guy. That guy? That guy. The bad guy? The bad guy. Melt it into the rampager. <laughs> oh no, 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 what a hit. <laughs> we need on fours. Yes, it wounds, it wounds. It wounds. Make working. your five up in roll. Okay. Don't make your five up in roll. shield, involved. save me. No, oh, just, oh god, no. Oh, yes, Should have rotated. Oh, Six no. damage. Oh. Iron storm into the rampager. Avenger into the Lord Discord that attacked him because he's very mad about what happened. So I'll do my D6 shots first to the Rampager. Yeah, six. It's five hits. No wounds. He stands tall. Fury, Perhaps the Fury. Warden's Endless Fury can do some work on that Lord Discordant. He has a two up armor save, correct? Yep. So it goes to a four. Sorry, five? Five. Holy hot damn. Or not. Wow. These dice rolls are not going his way at all. What do you do? Uh, volcano cannon into that fella. Plasma's going into 
Is he overcharging? No. <laughs> no, I have to dedicate. So all his shots are gonna go into Rampager. Yeah, three, three hits. Shots. Uh, when you have fives, one, negative one. Take it in the face! Oh, yes! no! Rampager finally goes down, giving Gary a point. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be enough, though. He needed to take out that Lord Discordant. Helverin shots into the Lord Discordant. Two, negative one. Uh, for straight three damage. The other Helverin will do the exact same thing. All right. <laughs> Winning on threes. Threes! Fudge. Ping, ping! This knight's gonna charge into that Discordant. Okay, as a six inch charge, make it with an eight. I'm just gonna go boop. This armor gear is gonna charge into that Lord Discordant. Do a six. Boop. Armor gear first. A hit. Single hit. What are you on twos? Ooh, uh, straight that's not three enough. damage. Would you like to interrupt? You know what? No. Dang. That's my path of destruction waiting for me right there. Yeah, so. I was hoping you wouldn't realize that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm with 12 attacks. Oh, there it is. Six, negative two, D3 damage apiece. Uh, fail three of them. It's gonna be three D3 damage. What you got, what you got? Out. Three, three four, four, five, six. Ah, he's alive! <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> All right, with the very, very wounded Lord Discordant. Hey, look at that. Five up involves armor, doesn't matter how much damage. Two apiece, so eight. Okay, uh, sixes. Nope. Techno virus injector. Even four. four, so that'll do it. That'll be D3 mortals on top of nothing. Make the save. Take the mortals. One. One more wound to him with the mechadendrite tendrils. Those largest gardens are ridiculous. So Yeah, they are kind of ridiculous. I uh, take three. It's down to five. Not killing those Lords Discordant is gonna be a real problem for Gary. They're gonna keep pressing and reducing his efficacy. He does score a point, however, giving us a midturn score of two to one in Tycho's favor. Beginning of my turn, um, this Lord Discordant will heal one wound to back go up to two. This other one will heal one wound and go up to 10. Tycho starts his second turn, and that, I believe, is going to be the fastest movement phase on our channel thus far. There's no point in hanging about. No. You've got the upper hand. Trust the advantage. Kill them all! I have one auto cannon free. He will, you know what? You've got two wounds left, don't you? Okay. <laughs> uh, hitting on twos. Good thing he rolled a one. And it wounds. Minus one. All right, well, let's see if that kills him. Yep. Does Holy he... crap, Lord Discordant! Hey, Lord Discordant shot and killed Mike Castellan. Off the board. Yeah, Volcano Lance into the far guy, everything else into the other guy. Uh, there's a good chance I'm... this game's gonna end <laughs> this turn. <laughs> Maybe. So the uh, Volcano Cannon, uh, D6 shots. Three. Wounding, hitting on threes. We're rolling. rolling. Three hits. All three wounds. All right, so I need three five ups. Three five ups. Here we come. <laughs> ah, take that. Nicely done. <laughs> Something's gotta go my way. I needed that earlier in the game. <laughs> okay, well, he lives. All right, Halvard's uh, <laughs> gonna win me this game, hands down. All right. Oh my, that armager is weathering a massive storm of fire. Apparently the God Emperor of Humanity has woken up and decided to turn his attention upon his loyal servant. The tyrant's shooting was somewhat anemic there, even with Vow the Beast Slayer. Is it a little too late though? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> All right, well now apparently my dice are uh, warmed up. Wow, this has been disappointing. Uh, the missile. Fails. This is luckily Maybe you can Path of Destruction that, yay! Trail of Destruction. Uh, wounding me on a three and I get no save of any kind. That'll do it, these roll six some, Roll some damage. Five wounds. Sixes. Sixes. Down to four. Diamondas laser cannon, three shots. I'm gonna do it into the wounded just to polish him. No one misses. I'll take it. Two I'll hits. take it. Four ones. Two wounds. Damn. Minus four. Yeah. All right, two more five ups. No, maybe. No, no more five maybe, ups. Maybe some five ups. <laughs> nope. Yay. It equals five. All right, how much damage? Seven. Uh, seven damage. All right, I can maybe ignore some. Maybe. Come on, sixes. Only oh, rolled two. Enough He's dead. 
Night Warden and the Lords Discordant are trading blows back and forth. Not the greatest rolls from Tycho. It uh, looks like that Warden's going to survive this. Oh, the Warden might survive this round. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come out of this alive. Tyrannos. No. No. He horribly <laughs> fails. So now the Armager Warglaive is now dead. Fight face here, and uh, Tycho's got another kill. That's some proper burning, maiming, and killing right there, I think. Making our score at the end of two, Tycho five and Gary one, with neither side having any command points remaining. On to the third turn, and once again, we're setting records. That was the fastest movement phase on our channel. Atta boy, Gary. The Halverin is going to pump all of his shots into... Seven wounds left, two wounds left, ten wounds left. This Lord Discord, and the Stubber into the moment two. Stubber. Stubs twice. We have fives. Yep. Oh. 43 shots. It's going out with a blaze of glory. All right, there it is. Eight hits. I just need to roll that again. I'll take it. Five negative ones into this guy. Ones and twos? Ones and twos? So. Uh, straight yeah, three, three damage. damage. He's down to four. Sorry, he's down to four. Oh, man. This is hard. So I'm going to go Stubber, Iron Storm, and Heavy Flamer here. Yep. Endless Fury here. So, Endless Fury. All right, four, negative two. If you fail two, you should fail two. I failed one. It's down to two wounds. Everything else in the other guy, so the Rocket Pod. Rocket Pod. Rocket Pod. Rocket Pod. One, negative one. Eat it. Eat it. He's OK. Heavy Flamer. Uh, no wounds. And then the Stubber. Oh, the Stubber, stubber of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Just awful. He's going after these two. Both have two wounds, so I'm just straight up splitting my attacks. Six and six. No hits. This Disco Lord. That's some hits. Two, negative three. He failed one. D3. Two. Ah, that'll do it. Finally kill one. That's probably the least amount of damage that model has done in close combat in a very long time. Not a lot of work for Gary here. He does manage another point, but at 5-2 in Tycho's favor, I think the eightfold path is unfolding before us and its destination seems clear. They're going for hugs. Melt the guns into the forward guy, everything else into the Helvrin. Actually, interestingly, I don't think that my tyrant has killed a single model yet in this game. So hopefully he's gonna make up for all that by right now. Ah, that's four hits. Uh, we're rolling ones. <laughs> good thing too. See, we rolled two of them. I made one. I made one. So the first one. It's two damage. Two damage. Second one is three, three damage. damage. How much does he ignore? Nothing. It's down to four. Volcano Cannon into little, little Helvrin. 63 damage? Six, 63 damage. I only have to make one. Not one. Not 12 dice, no sixes. Oh. 12 dice, no sixes. So the final Helvrin is now dead. Um, this assault should end it here, I think. Uh, with that, we're gonna have a final score of 9-2 in favor of Tycho and the Dark Lords of the Immaterium. It's a fantastic book. I love it when the rules uh, play into what we hope for, but don't break the game. We want to just give a quick shout out to some of our patrons, Christy, Andre, and Scott to Winter Wilkie. Without you people supporting us, we wouldn't be able to continue to bring this stuff. The other reason we want to talk to you guys is because we want to finish our first season in style. We want to bring back your four favorite players and do a two round semifinal and a one round final to end our first official season. Vote for your favorite four there. We'll do everything we can to get those four players back to the channel, shoot a semifinal, shoot a final, and give you what you're asking for. When we see you next time in the grim dark future, play on.
Thanks for tuning in, folks. Special thanks to our players, Tycho and Gary, to the blood letter in studio for constantly breathing down my neck, to the pink horror for sitting on the demonette and keeping her from the blood letter, and to the plague bearer for staying as far away as possible. Also, a big thanks to the Garage Games and Geekery for the recording space. Until next time you see us in the grim dark universe of the far-flung future, play on.